I may have found some chairs for my table on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> my dad just dropped them off. He went and got them for me. My house is a mess. <sighs> I'm trying them out right now. I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> So I found a set of these chairs. There's six of them. They're antique, Windsor style, really primitive, clean lines for a hundred bucks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are so pretty. I think I just love the ends kind of plain. Oh my word. I'm really loving this, you guys. We really need a vacuum. <laughs> My husband's grabbing a vacuum. Still not sure on whether or not we want to put a rug under here. All right. Uh, okay, Caleb. Okay, so I love the style of these chairs and I love all the character that they have, but what I'm not loving is that they are just not the right color. They're a little bit orange to me in tone, and with all of the wood happening in my dining room, the wooden table and the wooden hutch, I think they need to be darker. So I got this stuff called Crud Cutter in order to prep the chairs and I'm gonna start with this to see if I can strip the gloss off of the chairs. All right, um, my cats must be interested <laughs> um, in this, but you can tell like the light reflecting off of this chair, how shiny it is, it feels really shiny and smooth and then this is the chair that i just did so you can see that it's much more dull there is still some reflective um like a little bit of a, a sheen to it definitely but nowhere near the amount of this one i don't know if you can tell the difference in camera and i'm sorry if you're listening to the baby monitor music i'm doing this while my boys are awake too so lots of background noise but I'm gonna keep going with this stuff. I might even go over this chair a couple more times, see if I can really get it down to the raw wood. But um, yeah, I think it's working. All right, so I've done three chairs so far and I feel like, I feel like I'm still seeing a bit of a sheen on some of these. It's definitely cleaning them, giving them a good cleaning. Like we had already wiped these down with a rag. Um, so clearly it got off a lot more dirt, which is always good in surface preparation. I would like to maybe try to use either a wash, like a, a, like a wash of black paint. Um, but I do have a, a black stain. I'm sorry about the noise. So I may try that first and just see how well it dries and adheres. Okay, the stain, the stain is pretty, but I think I wanna go darker than this. And I think that because there was already color on these chairs applied at some point, or maybe just years and years of buildup, it's just the stain is not penetrating this wood the way I would like it to. So you can see it's just a little bit darker than this one, but not by much. So I may have to go the paint route rather than using the stain. Um, so I'm gonna go see what I have. All right guys, the only paint that I had in the basement was chalkboard paint, but the reason why I think I might actually give it a try is because the back says that you can use it on ceramic, glass, terracotta, um, wood, metal. So because of its base and because it's meant to go on different surfaces, I'm wondering if it'll do well on my chairs. So I'm just gonna try to water some down. I don't want to paint them a solid black color. So probably I'll just dip my paintbrush in a little bit of paint and add some water to it to give it a, to water it down a bit.
Hey guys, I just finished feeding the baby. It looks like I have to fix that right there, but let me just do... Wow. I'm scratching pretty hard. And that is on there. So this, this paint might work really, really well. I'm excited about that. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little update. This is another day now. So um, <laughs> we're no longer on the same day. But um, this is kind of the situation I have here. I've got one chair done and I'm working on another chair. And I'm just using that same technique of watering down the black chalkboard paint and brushing it on. So I'm gonna set up my camera and kind of show you. It goes pretty quickly. The trickiest part about it, let me flip the camera around. So the trickiest part about it is whenever you're using watered down paint, um, obviously it's not gonna go on super thick and so you're gonna have areas where it it it's a little bit like right here I've got sort of a drippy area so I'm just kind of like looking at what I did and brushing it to smooth it out a little bit but I honestly don't care about perfection um I want them to look old I want them to look you know I want to see all that character still so that's probably the trickiest part is just watching my brush strokes and dripping. Um, but really it's a quick process and I feel like it's turning out really beautifully. So I've got two done and I have four more to go. <laughs> so um, I really love the way they're looking though. They actually, if you look at my chandelier, um, my chandelier isn't solid black. It's like kind of, uh, or my lantern, I guess I should say. It's sort of black and it's got all these chippy brown spots and I feel like it it matches the chair so perfectly they, they go so well together and I'm thinking about putting a mirror on the bottom of that window so many of you guys hold on so many of you guys wanted me to lift that window up and I had my husband do that he put it all the way up above the board and batten and it looked too high to me I'm gonna have to show you guys um, but I think what's bothering people is that you can see the board and batten. So I think if it were all mirror, the overlap wouldn't matter as much to people. But anyways, I'm still playing with that situation. <laughs> right now, we're just going to focus on the chairs, though. like right now um, wet and I think as it dries it, it just gets darker um, you can see how these two turned out but I am going to uh, let this dry and then wherever I feel like it's too light and it's not dark enough I can layer it with more paint so that's just kind of the process for <laughs> oftentimes you hear whitewashing I guess this would be considered black washing <laughs> But you just really are watering down your paint and going over it in layers and it's really a cool technique. really quick because I always get questions about this in my dining room. Why not put the hutch on this wall? It should be centered behind the table. Take the shelves down, move the shelves to another wall. And it sounds so easy, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds so simple in theory, but the issue is these shelves are 
literally anchored to the wall and screwed to the wall and we have plaster walls and i'm sorry about the music in the background those are baby monitors <laughs> playing we play music for the boys when they sleep anyways it's not just like a simple process to just rip those shelves off the wall um it would mean patching holes repainting it would be a big thing and so i don't think the hutch would go between the shelves i wouldn't want like a hutch with shelves and then shelves on either side. I think it would have to be the hutch or the shelves. So that's why the, the hutch is on the other wall for right now. We're just trying it for a little while to see how we like it. And so I don't know if that makes sense or that answers your question. I just feel like so many people say, oh, switch the shelves to the other wall. Like it's su such a simple thing. And so um, I just wanted to explain that really quick because I think when we're looking at other people's homes, um, you know, everything just seems like a simple switch when in fact it's not always the case. So we're living with it like this for now. I'm still undecided as to whether or not I want something under the window. I don't want the dining room to feel too crowded. So kind of just playing with it still. It's a process, guys. It takes a while. Still living with it, but I'm loving these chairs so much. I can't wait till they're dry. And I'm going to put them all around the table and show you guys. So I'm still playing with everything, <laughs> everything, but I really love the way that these look. So just wanted to give you a little close up. They're imperfect, but I love that. And I think they look so pretty with the table. Okay, back up. Sorry, we're <laughs> got some stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm thinking um, about a rug still just so that the table sort of pops, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Here's another angle. I love how you can see the table and it's just simple and clean. I think it was too busy before. So, I'm really loving it, you guys. Oh my goodness. We're headed in the right direction, I think. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope it was fun for you guys to come along and see this whole process. I'll have a blog post that goes along with this video if you want more tips on black washing <laughs> instead of white washing. Um, but I really love how it's turned out. Lots more to decide on, still playing with this whole space, but I love the way um, the direction it's headed, I guess. So if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.